Okay guys, welcome back. Today we have a 55 inch LG TV. The model number of this TV is a 55LN5200. 55 inch 1080 LED TV. Okay, did I say that right? Okay. And basically what's happening with this TV um, is it don't work. Okay. So, if you look at the bottom here, we see a red light. It is now in standby. The power is off, but it is still plugged in. You can barely see that or not. But once I hit the power, when I hit power, the light should start flashing. And then we'll get a brief screen flash. Okay. And still a totally black screen. Absolutely no backlight. Okay. I'm just going to take my flashlight and look and see if I can find that <laughs> no signal message that's, that's, that's floating around the screen. There we go. I just seen a piece of it. No signal, no signal. Anyway, basically we got, we got a power with our screen, a quick screen flash. Let's see if it'll do it again. I'll turn it off. Solid red light. Turn it back on. Screen flashes. No backlight. All right, man. Let's take this bad baby apart and see what the flux is going on. Okay, just to verify the model of the TV, 55 LN 5200, and then you see this TV was manufactured in October of 2013, almost eight years old. Yes, these were the last of the TVs, the flat screen TVs, LED TVs that last, okay? Usually nowadays, you won't, won't get any more than four years uh, out of a TV before getting some type of problem. Most likely the backlights. But this one lasted for eight years. So what we're gonna do is take this bad baby apart. I'm actually gonna pull the stand out first, okay, with the four screws. Comes right out, slides right in. Okay, so don't try to push it. I got to slide it in. Make sure there are two metal things right here that the stand that goes inside. The, these two pieces on top on the stand. Okay, I, I I'm just telling you because I see that all the time when they put when people call themselves working on TV, even technicians, they'll try to put it on like this, right? And the TV's tilted over. So, okay. So what we do now is take the rest of the screws out of the back cover. Easy peasy. There's two screws in these holes right here. It's one here, one here. The screw around the jack panel was for the plugs. And like I said, the rest of the screws around the side. There's also two other screws right on the side, which are obviously different. It might be all the same size. We'll find out. And there's also two other screws right up under the stand, and we'll take those out. Okay, just so you want to get these screws mixed up, we have some metal screws, which are these here. Okay, and the plastic ones, the plastic ones obviously go around that side. We have a metal screw here, a metal screw here, a metal screw here, a metal screw here, and two metal screws on the side. This one by the jack panel is obviously a plastic screw, okay? And you can tell by the threads. You can't see it on camera, but... <laughs> Those are the threads, and obviously the plastic screws have the big, bigger threads. Okay. That cover should come right up. There we go. Should be the same connect to the back cover on this one. All right. Okay, so obviously the first thing we're gonna do is check our LEDs, and this is the plug 
right here. As you can see, that's going into the inside of the chassis to the LEDs, to the power supply. So basically we got our keypad, our speakers, power supply board, <coughs> excuse me, main board, and our T-Com board right up under this heat, heat sink or heat shield. And this is our remote at the bottom here. You can't see it where these wires are going to, going to the main board. This is obviously our standby light and our infrared detector for our remote. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to the LED plugs. Or LED plug, there's one plug with two lines, okay? There's a return, there's one positive, one B plus line and one return line, okay? So we have two lines, two sets of plugs, and they are labeled, if I can get a good position here. Plus, minus, plus, minus, okay? So I'm just gonna take my LED checker. As you can see, I have a new LED checker. This is the revised one. Remember the last one I showed you actually blew up two of my TVs, blew up all the strips and two TVs that I was checking. And I finally waited, because I'm pretty sure they will fit, eventually will figure it out that there was a problem with it. This is the old one right here. And TKDMR and this one says SID LED that is obviously the revised one this one here okay they do have an advertisement showing <laughs> this one and then they got an X over this one showing you the new one here okay so hopefully that will last a while uh, my old one that I've had the TKDMR I think has lasted me over four years and not only that I will show you now this is a little cheaper one that you can get as you can see this one has an adjustable adjustable adjustment for the current and voltage you can also get the voltage all the way up okay until 300 uh, the current I would just leave it at mid-level okay this one is the one that I've had for years okay um, just a auto automatic doesn't have the, the adjustment for the current or voltage but, um, and this one should be, a, is this a TK DMR? I'm not sure. But, let's see how that works. So anyway, I'm gonna pull my LED plug out, okay? Just unclip it, snap it out, okay? And positive, negative, positive, negative, okay? So let's go, hop to it, and I'm gonna check the first line. The, the plug on the end should be positive. This one should be negative. And that is at 103 volts. And it's drawing, I can't see points, 0 0.07 milliamps, I guess, or amps. Now the other one, okay, I'm gonna take the plug out, okay. Touch it together, it's working. I'm going to the other line. This third wire is positive. According to the diagram, according to the legend, and the last one is a negative. And as you can see, that one is wide open. Okay? So, that should be our problem. Hopefully our only problem. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, we're actually going to unclip the little circuit board at the bottom with our standby light and our infrared detector on it. And actually, as you can see, there's two clips on the side. There's one on each side. We're just gonna unclip those, and those should slip, and that little board should slip right out. There's a plug here. I'm sorry, there's a clip right here. And one on the other side, so I'm just gonna unclip that side, and then this side. Unclip that, and that slides right out, okay? Pull this tape up. And obviously, for safety purposes, I'm going to disconnect 
the LDVS cable coming from the TCOM board going to the main going to the main board. I'm going to disconnect this from the main board. Once again, we're going to fire it up or test fire it up before we put the TV totally back together. Uh, we don't want any current or voltage coming through here and this touching the metal and damaging something on the main board. Okay, so take that out. I'm actually gonna put some tape on that. That way, the TV's upside down. I won't be have to worry about this, these metal contacts touching any parts of the board. Okay, then we want to remove our speakers, which are pretty easy on this one because they actually disconnect right at the speakers. Okay, speakers are the same size, same ones, so you can't get those mixed up. This one can actually go over here, and this one can go over there, so no big deal there. All right, left and right speakers, disconnected. Okay, now we're going to remove this shield from our, over our TCOM board using a number one Phillips. And it's always good to get a magic marker and mark that. Just so I know, right? Oh God, there's a fly in here. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, insane. Okay. I haven't seen the fly down here since last year. Last summer, all right? Must be warm outside. Okay. That way I know these screws go for the, the, heat, the T-Con shield. Number one, Phillips, okay? Be careful when doing this. Don't put your drill up high. If you got one of those drills that adjust and that torque and all that, just put it in there, slowly bring it up because these screws will strip very easily. Uh, probably better to use a screwdriver, a handheld screwdriver, but that seems to be okay. I'm gonna pull that up. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm actually gonna put two screws back in down, down in here to hold the TCOM board secure. So when I flip it over, I can actually um, be wiggling around everywhere to disconnect my connectors going from my TCOM board to the left and right driver boards, okay? So that way those will be free. Okay, unclip that, pull those out. And there's a line right here on the actual connector that shows how far it goes in. It only goes in so far, so just lift it up and pull it right out. Close back down those connectors. So you flip it over, you won't break it, even though these studs are in the way, so it probably won't get down that far. Okay, now, these have to come up? No, these don't. I'm going to actually release my outer bezel, okay? And as you can see, the outer bezel has some clips going around. There's no screws on that black outer bezel. The only screws you see is for the brackets that's holding in the diffuser screens, I believe. Um, so I'm going to have to flip the TV set around and unpry it from all four sides. Now this one is good to have a smaller table. I'm just so used to you working on the six foot table. I just, I'm just gonna have to move it from side to side. So I'll get up under here and pull it up. But anyway, I'm actually going to flip the TV around or on its back. Being careful, I should take these all the way out, but that's fine, that should be okay. No big deal. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around. Okay, alrighty. And it's always good to have one of these here. It's like the best tools you can have for doing this um work you know change the leds i can actually get up under here and just take these little pry things and pry those right up well oh, i might have to use my fingers let me see making sure not to put too much pressure there we go just do that all the way around until we get the outer bezel up. Now I can actually use my fingernails. Probably until we get to the corner. Once we do that, 
this comes up very easily. I didn't even have to go to the bottom part. Uh, this, once I got all four sides, the top and the two sides, three sides, okay? The top part and the three sides and clip, the bottom part just slides right out, but that's it, okay? Now, we have to use our screw driver because these brackets that are holding in the screen and the diffuser screens, I will guess, are do have screws in them. Okay, they're, they're all the way around, I believe, and these are separate brackets. So what is a good idea for you to do is go ahead and actually mark the corners. Okay, so you won't be confused when you put it back together. Okay, there's actually four pieces, right? One on each side. So, I'm going to mark this corner, this color. Okay, let's see where I'm at. This is the bottom of the TV. Okay, so we're actually going to mark this side, this green here. I'm sorry, blue here and blue on that side. Okay. And I'm going to take another color marker and mark the other corner red. Okay, on both pieces. Bottom piece side piece all right and then began unscrewing these brackets I don't know if these go on any kind of certain order now look at this legs overlapping for right now but for right now just go ahead and unscrew the screws out and take all four brackets off okay so we'll do that Okay, so on the bottom bracket, on the bottom of the TV, or bottom of the screen, there are actually only three screws, and those screws are actually longer. That's the screws on the other on the two sides and the top. Okay, and these are the longer screws for the piece on the bottom. Okay, so just telling you that so you won't put these screws in the side. Okay, so just keep those separate. Like so, three longer screws, the screws for the other sides. Easy, right? This one's fairly easy, so no big deal with this one. I see a lot of people on my channel have been saying that I've been helping them out because they've been doing effort to do this themselves. Never worked on the TV before in their life, and they were able to fix their TV, and I am so glad. That's why the big dog is here, okay? I'm a true Chicago one, as you can see. Bears, baby, all the way. Okay, now we're at the bottom of our TV or the bottom of our screen. As you can see, these are the two bus uh, ribbon connectors that were connected to the T-Con board. This is our left driver board and right driver board, or right, left, however you want to do it. And we just want to flip these boards out, and they come out pretty easily. Just kind of do not, please. I don't know how many times I can tell you this. People can leave me comments saying, this crush this or whatever do not damage those do not do not stick anything in here do not pull on these at all just do not touch them okay all right and we're just gonna pull push this up actually the board up and it should slide right out okay voila easy peasy right and i just got this case i need a little help getting it up pushing it up a little bit Actually, I have to pull it out and pull the top part out a little bit. And then, there we go. Then, we'll push it up. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, almost had you. Voila, just like that. Then I'm going to fold them over, not tightly. <laughs> a little play, because you don't, you don't wanna, when you fold these over, you don't wanna scrunch these or damage these, because uh, these are what's activating the pixels or lines right here, what's connected to that. Just wanna fold it over, just like that maybe, a little bit. 
and just kind of tape it down to the screen. That way it won't get snagged or anything once you pull the screen out and move it around. And I got a bunch of junk down here. You know, I'll be a, anything can happen right when I move taking the screen out. So just pull this out. Little play in it, little play, just, just enough right there. And voila. Now I am ready to take the screen out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we have to just pull out our diffuser bracket for our diffuser screens, okay, which is this black bracket. And believe it or not, this one, it's all one piece, okay? That's why I love these LG TVs. Very easy, very easy to take apart. If you've seen my other videos, you know, this one is easy, okay? Anyway, before I do that, I'm just gonna mark the cor this same corner that I marked the, um, the other brackets in. Red, that's the bottom left corner. I'm just gonna mark that so I know that goes there. And I'm also gonna put this little dot on the diffuser screen right there. So when I take that out, I know which way that one goes. And put a, put a red mark on the actual metal chassis on the bottom. Okay. That way you are not, now I really don't have to do that because I know how it goes, but I want you to do that so you won't get confused and put it on backwards and then put the screen on and then crack the screen. Okay. And this one is just like the bezel, the outer bezel, no screws. All one piece, just start unclipping. I think it's one piece. Yep, all one piece. How easy is that? If you don't have any fingernails, just use a prior to, no big deal, right? Got some tape right here, wow, okay. I don't think we need that. And the more it comes up, the easier it is to come up. Okay, now these on the bottom, you're, you're actually gonna have, gonna have to get a prior tool and pry these up because it's kind of hard to, oh, maybe not. Get your fingernails in there. If so, just go ahead and do it like that, like that, like that. Like that. Voila, one piece. How easy can you get, bro? Not much easier on a 55 inch. <clears throat> Guys, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of videos like this, okay? Just about every TV that they make with the LED problem, okay? And give me a like or a dislike, okay? It doesn't matter, who cares, all right? Anyway, it goes. Now we have access, oh lord, is that my phone ringing? Hey, honey. Hey, honey, I'm in traffic. It, uh, 57 is all messed up. What? All messed up. Okay. Brackets are up. These are actually one, should be two here actually, this is one. Yeah, there's two screens, might be three, and then there's a thick one at the bottom. I do have it marked, okay, so I know that this side have marked with the red dot right here, so I know that this side goes down there, okay? And it's also good to mark, I'm gonna mark my chassis again, so I won't be confused when I put it back together, and make sure that these screens, take them out together, please. Do not get it mixed up. Do not get them turned around or anything. I'm just gonna set these over here. Okay, now these, I think, to turn this over maybe. Yeah, these are gonna, you're gonna have to uh, actually get some pliers, you do nose pliers or whatever you get, and actually squeeze these out. Squeeze them out, okay? And so those, 
supports or our stand-ups for our screens can um, come out and then we can pull our white paper off. But I'm also going to mark, before I do that, once again in red, same corner, that's gonna mark the paper so I know that's the side the paper goes on, right down here, okay? Because they won't come out. I'm gonna have to um, squeeze all of those out. And is it still up under the circuit board? Hopefully not. Okay. Actually got these little miniature. <laughs> hey, when I bought these, this came in a set, right? Okay, check this out. This is so funny, right? I actually thought these, they came in a set of three, right? And I actually thought those were bigger, how it looked online. I thought they were about this size right here. <laughs> but these are miniature ones, okay? It's, who is those things that I just got? Uh, the same thing with these here, look at this. I thought these were actually smaller. Look how big those are. That's like for an auto mechanic, right? I mean, I mean, what are you gonna do? Like, uh, you know, other than like torture somebody and pull somebody's teeth out, right? You know, be like, yeah, open your mouth up. Get on the floor, right. you're under arrest. You know, okay, I want y'all to get no ideas, but anyway, yeah. This is really the only hard part to this, and it's not hard, it's just time consuming. Uh, getting these things out, because you definitely do not want to rip the paper. Because if you rip that paper, what's going to happen is when you put it back together, you're going to see all these shadows around the LEDs. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put those in front of my diffuser screens on the floor. So I know once I grab the diffuser screens, I'm going to be like, hmm, what's that? Because me, sometimes I do forget to put those back in there, okay? And you don't want to do that because what's going to happen is the screen is actually going to be sinking in closer to the to the lights, and you're going to be able to see the light, the rings around the LED lights um, when they light up. So anyway, we'll, we'll push all of those out, remove our white paper, and that should do it. I actually find that these are like the best. Okay, from my experience, these pliers here. Actually, this is one of those fold up things that you carry around on your belt. Okay, right, put your belt through here, this little clip here, and pull these out, and look at these pliers on here, those are, this has the knives and all that kind of stuff, what do they call this, the Boy Scout, <laughs> Boy Scout tool, right, and these are better actually, because I can actually, once I squeeze them together, I can actually use the top part of this and push it down, okay. If you break one or two of those, it's no problem. As long as most of them in, are in there, and if you break the actual bottom piece, uh, just just get some clear tape and just put it across the middle and keep, help keep it up. It's not like it's gonna be moving or anything, you know. It's just not a moving part, okay? This one came out, this one's still stuck. This one came out, this one came out. See what I say? Just like I said. I'm gonna replace all these trips anyway, hopefully. See what I mean? Those things do not hold very good, okay? So. Okay, we've got our paper off, okay? And as you can see, I got these things everywhere. Once I pull the paper off, these little LED, the lenses um, I just see everywhere, okay? So that's why I thought it was a good idea just to replace all of these strips 
And if you are actually trying to replace just the one that's bad or whatever, um, this was made kind of funny. Because as you can see, like I said, there are two lines. And there's actually, let me see how does this go. Okay. okay he's coming from the TV. One line is going down here for these three strips. And the other line is going here for these three strips. Okay. And you're going to have to, I, I really can't, it's going to take too much time to explain this, but let's just go ahead and check it anyway and see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Nothing there. You can actually go strip by strip, I believe. Let's see. Nothing there. Okay. So they do have these little jumper. This is the best way to do this. Just so you know, if you want to test each strip. This jumper wire right here, that's going to the strip. You can actually take that out. Okay, and oops, I almost lost it, wow. You can actually check each strip individually by going to the end and just taking this piece off right here and putting the jumper wire in there in that part, and you can actually check the whole strip from right here. Okay, or vice versa. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna replace all the strips in this one because of these LGs, uh, you know, it's been eight, it's eight years old. So obviously if I replace one, it might last for a couple months, it might last for a year, but eventually the other one's gonna start going one by one. So I wanna just get rid of this TV, okay? I'm okay, so I got the lights turned out and I plug my LED wire back into the power supply. And I'm just gonna hit the power over here in my transformer and it should power up by itself and we're gonna see exactly what's going on with that little flash. So I'm gonna hit the power, one, two, three. There we go, did you see that? Okay, so we know the problem is on one of these, actually this has four, okay. One, two, wait a minute, this has seven strips, not six, okay. So the problem is with these, let's see here. Okay, these three are good. So the problem is on one of these four strips. Okay, as you can see once again, like I showed you. This is the line coming from the power supply board. And as you can see, one line goes here, comes through here, loops around, loops around, goes to this one, that one loops around with the jumper wire right here, goes to this one, goes to this one. And this is the end right here. Let me turn this off before I let you cute myself. Okay. And that's where it stops at, where the jumper wire is at. Okay. Right there. Okay. And then the other line is going to this one. And as you can see, this one, whoops, see how that comes around, loops around through this wire, comes around and goes through here. Okay. So we're actually going to change all of the strips. I have brand new strips probably look different anyway you can get those i got those strips off the shop jimmy they're about 70 bucks with shipping and handling for the whole set okay and actually these let's see hopefully these are made the same way actually look like this. Okay, these actually look longer, let's see. Okay, some are longer and some are shorter, okay. Yeah, so these are the A, as you can see, we have an A, and you can see that A and the B side. Okay, let's make sure that these are the right plugs. A. 
excellent. Excellent fit, okay? Basically what you wanna do is just do one side, one strip at a time. Otherwise you're gonna get these wires confused, okay? So <laughs> that's my suggestion. Okay, so, and they do have the, once you get them on there, you're gonna have to pull this off. Pull this tape off right here so it can stick on there. Okay. Okay. Like I said, just do these one at a time. You know, don't just take them all off and then put in the new ones, just so you know where these plugs go. Cause like you see all the plugs are different. We got here, we got a, a plug at the end, plug on there, plug on there. And just so if you still get confused when you're taking them off about which way they go, those are all opposite, okay? As you can see, A, B, A, B, A, B and the last one is of course A, all right? And same on the other side. Just unplug them from both sides, okay? Those things are irritating. That's probably about the only mistake LG made with the TV is putting those lens diffusers on there, like this here. Once again, just pull the paper off the back. Okay, this is A actually. This goes on this side, okay. Like that. Okay, the one goes upside down so they won't stick. And this is the one that goes over here. So we just do it one at a time. B side, and you can just align it up to this. There's already some tape from the old one here, and so we're just kind of like lining up. There's also a notch where this hole goes right here, so it's pretty easy to line up. Just kind of line it up at the beginning where the old tape was, and stick it down in place, plug it back in. the other side, peel this side off. Oh, I already peeled it off, okay. <laughs> All right, stick it in, stick it in, okay. Anyway, um, stick it to one side and line it up. There's also a hole over here that lines up with the hole on the chassis. Stick it down. Plug it back in. That's it. Get all these things off of here. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up and it should come right on. Make sure nothing's touching. 
Okay, no metal on metal. Fire it up. Should come on automatically. Voila, that's it. We are done, okay? Now, it's just a real symbol, it's back together. Paper. Okay, hopefully the paper lines up, right? <laughs> okay, if I got these lined up correctly. Oh yeah, excellent, excellent. Okay, then we'll put in these here. Okay, that's how easy this is. Put in, some of these are broke, but it's okay, who cares, All right? Okay, we'll just put a little piece of tape on there and in case, as long as we get a majority of these back in here, they don't fall off. Okay, there's one there. Push it in. Another one there. Another one there. This one's good. Another one there. Okay, just snap those into place. Make sure this is flush all the way around. Oh, let me turn this off. Drop the bottom piece, bottom portion. Okay, when you put that diffuser screen break it back on, make sure all these clips are secure and in, and make sure it is flush and even all the way around, okay? Make sure every clip is in, okay, down. Because what happens is if it's uneven, when you put your screen on and go put that metal bracket on, you're gonna crack the screen. So yeah, so that's it. Once that happens, that's it. Okay, so we need to put it in our metal brackets all the way around. So what we're gonna do is actually place our driver boards in place, left and right. Okay, let's go inside of these three grooves right here. One, two, three. Okay, same with this one. Just lift, lift it up a little bit. Comes down right behind the grooves and that's it. How easy is that? Okay, and now, for our metal brackets, okay? 
Once again, marked in red, the corner over here. Okay, and these do not go on any particular overlapping method, because that's the blue one. That one goes on top. Okay, so. Make sure those are flush and those are lined up with the holes. First thing we want to do is put our metal shield back over our T-Con board, okay? Which is over here, remember? Okay. Yeah, plug it in first. Both sides. That's in. Plugging it back in. Lights flashing. Voila. We are good. We are good. Just go ahead and hook it up. Make sure everything is working. Well than that, I know we're good. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that you sub do subscribe for more videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Big dog out.